So what is emotional intelligence? To really understand the power of emotional intelligence, you first have to ask yourself the question, how do emotions impact us? And if you look into the science of that, you'll see that the way we feel influences firstly, the way we think and the decisions that we make, both productively and unproductively. For example, you don't ask the boss for a pay rise or more resources if the boss is in a bad mood. Why? Because the boss is more likely to say no. Secondly, emotions influence the way we behave. Where do emotions show up? In our tone of voice, in our facial expressions and in our body language. And because of this, they're fundamental to how we interact, collaborate, communicate and work in a team in the workplace. And finally, the way we feel influences the way we perform. Think about it for yourself. How well do you perform when you feel overly stressed, worried, concerned, anxious or tired? The research shows that you're most likely to perform at your worst versus how you'll perform at work when you feel valued, cared for, consulted, informed, understood, when you feel like you're doing meaningful work. So the way we feel influences the way we think, the way we behave and the way we perform, both productively and unproductively. What emotional intelligence is and why it's so important is it's a set of abilities that help us perceive and understand the way we feel and the way others feel, and a set of abilities to do with how effectively we regulate and manage emotions. So these emotional intelligence abilities help us pick up on the way we're feeling and modify our decisions and behaviour and performance at work so that we are thinking our best, behaving our best and performing our best at work.